I wish to stress that police officers should lead by example in exhibiting the highest levels of integrity and like being found wanting by the law because of involving themselves in vices of corruption and that criminal activities. I'm happy to note, Inspector General, that uh, you have highlighted these issues in your speech. Police officers are expected to distinguish themselves by carrying out their duties with integrity, honesty, discipline, and respect to members of the public. While government is ready to support the police in its endeavors towards enhanced professionalism and rule of law, it should be equally clear that the new Dawn administration will not tolerate police officers who engage in any form of unprofessional misconduct. Over and above, take notice that illegal roadblocks are constantly <coughs> making rounds with impunity. The Inspector General of Police has already drawn the line on this matter. <coughs> that is an eyesore to the public and government. At the rate this is going, it will begin to attract public protest, which we should avoid. I therefore urge you, commanders, to take this instruction seriously and ensure that all officers comply with our fear. Honorable Minister, sir, allow me now to address the senior officers gathered right here. I need to mention here that the Zambia Police Service is an institution that has a huge responsibility in maintaining law and order in the country and is accountable to the Zambian people and the government. Therefore, our leadership as commanders must be exemplary and above board as we continually aspire to keep our country safe by working with, for, and through the communities. We must build on these positive aspects that are firmly entrenched in the Zambia police and to re to reinvigorate those areas where we are not doing well. There is need to co to collaborate with the members of the public in our respective formations on various matters of interest if the Zambia police service is to perform the expectations and be appreciated by